guys, it's Jacqueline. I hope you're all doing well. I'm coming on today to do a quick update from a video I did two months ago. Two months ago was when I decided I wasn't going to dye my roots anymore and I was going to embrace the grays. To date, it's been six months and I'm just coming on to tell you, you know, what's been happening, some of the things I've been doing and hopefully these ideas can actually help somebody else or inspire somebody else. But before I go on, let me tell you first and foremost, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the comments I received and for also all the views. I believe that video is over a thousand views for me, which is not the norm at all, which tells me that a lot of other women like myself are doing the same. Thank you for all the new subscribers that came over to my channel because of that video and also for your kind comments and your positive reinforcements. It's, I was, I'm so, I was, I was real, I was really overwhelmed by all the positive reinforcements, kind comments and tips and tricks that you guys were giving me on your experiences so I find that together we're a lot stronger thank you how am I doing I'm doing pretty good um when I did that video I was really scared I feel that that was one of the hardest videos I've ever done since I've been on YouTube usually I do hauls and random videos but that one was really tough and it was tough mostly because I was putting my 100% insecure self out there because I'm feeling insecure because you know my hair is graying and you know society leads you to believe that you have to color your hair so you could look young or whatever but it doesn't matter how much you color your hair if you're 70 years old whether your hair is gray or black you're still 70 right but that's not what society or the images that you're seeing portraying and I find that you know, looking at all those images all the time, it's not good for your psyche. Like you can't open up your phone without seeing those images. So then that's why it was so hard because I myself was feeling really insecure about it. And I'm like, this is something new. I'm going to try something different. And I was literally afraid and then also afraid to share it. But clearly, my fear helped other people that might have been fearful, but it also showed me that there were so many other women that have experienced and are experiencing the same things I did, which is really, really helpful. So thank you again. It's been about two months since I've been on, and my hair doesn't grow much because I have African-American kinky curly hair. So right now I think my hair is about maybe three inches of grays. And right now I've got it pulled back because I'm getting more and more confident as the time goes on. So I'm gonna spin around and show you. I've got one of these ties. I purchased this at the dollar store. I find them to be really good. They don't pull on my hair. So let's see. Got a pin right here. So I've just got a little braid happening right here. But if I pull it out, this is how my hair would be on a given. I'm finding that I am enjoying wearing my hair back a lot more because I find that it looks good like that. Like I could do like a half up, half down again with this scrunchie, which I really like. About a week or so after I did the previous video with myself embracing the grays, I went on a search to get some gray extensions. It was really hard, so hard guys. In the beauty supply stores in the GTA, there's literally nothing like what? Nobody wants gray extensions. So I went online, I went online and I looked and I looked and I looked and finally I ended up purchasing some gray hair through AliExpress 
Oh my gosh, the price is really good and the selection is amazing. But let me tell you, you need to pack a lot of patience when you're shopping on AliExpress. I'm so used to the whole instant gratification thing where I can order something from Amazon and it's at my house in a day or two. I waited over a month, guys, to get this weft, but it was really worth it. The one I bought, it doesn't have a name on it. It just says HH Yaki, 14 inch, 100% human hair. Um, take it from me. I could have saved some money. I didn't need to get 14 inches. 12 would have been more than ideal, but this is a pack I got. Comes like that. There's two separate ones here. And on this side, I had four choices. So I chose the one with the salt and pepper, which looks like that. The plan is sometime this week, I'm gonna be going to a hair school and I'm gonna have them sew in two or three rows of these wefts. So there it is, let me just unravel that. One thing though, I did buy the wrong textures. I said this one's yucky. My texture is more kinky curly, but the kinky curly ones, I don't know why, they were like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. This one was only about $40, I believe. So there is what it looks like. So it's just on a really thin weft. And there's a the hair there. And I would have to say the wefts, they're pretty long. I think that half a pack should be able to do my whole head. So I'm just going to see here. Let's see how I'm going to look with gray all over. Okay. <laughs> That's how it would look with all grays. Not bad. So there it is, there it is, it's 14 inches. My hair is in a kinky state. The texture is all wrong, as I said, but I'm gonna have to work with it. But 12 inches would have been more than okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew in three rows of this, so maybe one, and the hairstylist will let me know more too. Maybe one at the back, one by my ear, and maybe one here in the crown. And then I'm gonna blow dry my hair and it will make it match this texture. And I'm gonna give myself a trim as well. The last time you saw me, I hadn't trimmed my hair. I'd gone too late and everywhere was closing. So I'll, I'll trim my hair with the extension. So hopefully it'll be like a peekaboo effect. So just maybe just a couple of rows where you could see the gray. So it wouldn't be, you know, just the gray here, then it stops. I'd be able to see some grays at the bottom. That's the game plan. I'm excited about that. So what I'm gonna do later on, I'm just gonna wash my hair and do a deep conditioner. I might just pop on and show you how my hair looks right after it's specially washed. Because right now, this is in a stretched out, kinky, curly straight. When I wash my hair, it's half this length. But as I said, look at that. There's so many, um, so many ends. And I think that once I cut the ends as well, it's gonna be better. My hair is gonna look healthier and automatically there's gonna be a good maybe two to three inches less of black, which would be ideal. And I'm just gonna experiment with some different hairstyles and go from there. So I'll catch up with you later. It's literally like 10.30 at night. I washed my hair about a half an hour ago and I had a t-shirt on it just to absorb some of the moisture. So this is what I'm left with. So what I actually need to do is I'm just gonna add some leave-in conditioner, which I have in here. It's just the Cantu leave-in conditioner. And I'm gonna apply like a generous amount to my hair. I can't apply any oils or anything because tomorrow when I add the wet, they are gonna be blow drying my hair. So. Just want to get enough in there to make the hair manageable. I have to use a lot. I got a wide tooth comb here, so I'm just gonna start at the bottom.
and then I'm pretty much gonna do like four huge plaits in my hair. I'm not gonna braid them too tightly because I want the roots to dry out. All done, I've got like five huge plaits in my hair and it's pretty much detangled as well. So, I've got my little pony holder. Just gonna wrap it around twice just to stretch out my hair. I like using cotton t-shirts to dry my hair. The fibers are closer together and I find them to be a lot gentler than a terry cloth towel. Um, so I'll, how I usually do it is I use the bottom part of the t-shirt, put it on like that, like tighten, wrap it around at the back and then bring it around. like so. It's the following morning and I'm at Canadian Beauty College in Newmarket. The student that I have, they chose her because she loves to braid. It's her first time doing a weave. I must say she did an awesome job. My hair has already been blow dried and now she's just wrapping up the flat iron. Got a flat iron my hair to get it smooth before it's trimmed. Join the length for 20 seconds. <laughs> they took off a lot at the back because the back was really damaged, mostly from me doing box dye during COVID. So the back is about shoulder length. A blue one, yeah. Jacqueline, how long have you been at this? You're very. Oh, oh, did you have your own salon? Did you just. Yeah, because when it kicks up, right? Yeah. So I'm going to stay like this. <laughs> Amazing. I haven't trimmed it since December. Really? Yeah, that's too long. So when you look up the girl on Instagram, Saskia Strand, and follow her, she's in markup. Okay. The teacher paired me with somebody that loves to braid. She's a breast braider in the whole school. She's never done African-American hair before, but for hair, you don't have to be afraid, guys. It doesn't matter what culture does your hair. The techniques are all the same. Um, the braid pattern was a little different, but she didn't put too much tension on my head, which I like because I actually hate braiding my hair. At the end, she did an amazing, amazing job. She's going to do while out in the world doing hair extensions and braids. 
I didn't get the chance to record her actually sewing on the West to my hair. If that's something that you're interested in, comment down below and let me know and I'll do another designated video of getting the weave done. Here it is finished, looking beautiful. Love, love, love. It's got like a reversed ombre effect and that's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted some gray strands to show at the bottom and I feel that this technique helped me to do that. Thank you so much for watching. And again, comment down below if you want to see another video like this. And go out there and embrace your gray guys.